Hi friends! Today we're going to talk all about oxalates. If you heard of the term oxalates, it was probably in relation to kidney stones. But what are they and do we have to be concerned? Oxalates are also known as oxalic acid and are naturally occurring plant compounds. These include spinach, Swiss chard, beets, chocolate, soy products, sweet potatoes, almonds, peanuts, black tea, and coffee. Our bodies can naturally produce oxalates through the metabolism of vitamin C. When we consume oxalates, they usually bind and form a salt with either calcium or iron. Our body then disposes of them through either our stools or urine. If oxalates leave the body, why are they still such a concern? Well, because of their binding abilities to minerals such as calcium and iron, this could actually decrease the overall absorption of those two essential minerals. In addition, kidney stones, about 80% of them, are actually made from calcium oxalates. Kidney stones are made when there is low urine volume, such as when someone doesn't drink enough water, and high oxalate concentration. Kidney stones can vary in size, from small ones coming out easy with no problems, to bigger ones that may cause pain, nausea, and bloody urine. For those with reoccurring kidney stones or osteoporosis, it may be advisable to follow a low oxalate diet. You might be wondering though, how can these highly nutrient dense foods such as sweet potatoes as well as Swiss chard be eliminated from the diet? Well the good news is, there are ways to prepare foods to decrease the levels of oxalates in them. Preparation tip number one, boil or steam your vegetables, especially spinach, Swiss chard, beet greens, and sweet potatoes. Preparation tip number two, consume your coffee and teas away from your meal times. Preparation tip number three, soak your nuts in water overnight. The next morning, drain and then toast them back up in the oven. Bottom line, you don't have to be scared or afraid to eat foods rich in oxalates. Rather, remember to stick to these three preparation tips as well as eat them in moderation, especially if you already have low bone density or you have reoccurring kidney stones. I hope you found this video helpful and until next time, relish every bite.